1986 on, my life was based on portable toilets and vomit and, and keeping her happy. And I did believe with all my heart that she was going to pull through and survive. I was an idiot. But it's a good thing I did believe that because she'd say, I know that you would never have said that to me if you thought I was going to die. And uh, it was very difficult. But then came the Gilda's Clubs, which Joanna Bull and I and Joel Siegel started. And now they're all over the country and in London. And uh, ironies, one thing leading to another. I was very unhappy for a long while with Gilda. And I'm happier now than I've ever been in my life. And at the beginning, people would come up to me and say, oh, you, you poor fellow, and we love your wife. We loved your wife. And I say, I'm married now, you know, to, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, good luck, and I hope you're happy. But that was at the very beginning. Now that's not a problem. And Karen never met Gilda, which I think, well, may or may not have made it easier, but for me, in some ways, it was easier that she had, because she cared about her and helped in Gilda's clubs and everything. No, it's not a problem. No. Karen and you seem to find what makes it work, as far as a relationship oh, goes. Yeah. What was the key, do you think, to this relationship working so well for you? Well, part of it was the timing, because if it had happened 20 years earlier, I don't think it would have happened. I, I wasn't ready. I don't know if Karen would have been ready or not, but I certainly wasn't. But at the time that we met, it was I, I didn't think I'd ever get married. No. And uh, I didn't believe in fate either. I always felt you'd make your own life and then call it fate. With Karen. I do believe in fate. Well, I am happy that you are so happy. Thank you. And all the joy you brought all of us through all the years. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gene Wilder.